What's up, Throttle? Do you want to check out one of the coolest time attack cars? Then keep on watching, as today, you're in for a ride. Hi, I'm Archie Konkon. I'm Team Hybrid Nevada Chapter, and this is my 733 horsepower Mitsubishi Mirage. So Archie's just checking this thing out. I mean, it looks like a time attack race car. Is that the look you were going for? That's what I'm after for. Okay, do you race it yourself? Yes, I do. We have a track here in Pahrump yeah. and at the Speedway also. Well, if you're racing this thing, you must have performance tuned it. What can it do? Right now, it's tuned on E85 and it makes 733 to the wheel. So stock, what does a Mirage do? Uh, stock Mirage makes 91 horsepower. Wow. Wheel horsepower. You're kidding. Yeah. So let's check out what you did to this engine to make it go so fast. Oh, all right, take me through this. So what we have here is a fully converted all-wheel drive Mitsubishi Mirage. Yeah. It has a 4G63 from an Evo 8 motor. Yeah. It has a billet crankshaft, yeah. forged pistons and rods. Um, fully built head with GSC cams. Boosting about 40 pounds of boost right now. It's on coil packs. Running a Sheepy top mount turbo turbo kit, yeah. uh, 64, 66 turbo kit on it. So with all these adjustments that you've done, how much would you say has it saved you in terms of weight? Probably a good 10% of the weight. What I did was I ended up ordering a full wide body kit from Varys for an Evo 5 and 6 body style. So this is actually for a four-door Evo. Ah, and okay. that's why I had to convert the car to a four-door instead of just regular two-door, because they don't make that. I had to convert the headlights and everything. To do an all-wheel drive conversion in the car, we had to cut the rear floor in the car, in the Mirage, yeah. and put a rear floor from an Evo four, five, or six. We had to re-weld the whole thing, um, reinforce it with the strut bar and the rear, rear cage, and the suspension as well, the brakes. We have to upgrade the brakes to make sure the car stops at going 100 and 50 miles an hour. So looking at your wheels, are these one-offs? These are one-off wheels, made by Vogue T37, and they're 18 by eight, 10 and a half plus 15. Yeah. They're called, uh, the colorways is Hyper Gold, and they don't have this specific color on just regular T37. So the obvious question here is, why didn't you just buy an Evo? Why didn't you buy a Mirage and do all this work? Uh, to me, it's boring, because you can buy an Evo off the shelf and make it fast. But this one, you have to do the whole re-engineering, like we re-engineer the body, the fenders, to make sure it all lines up. And there's no fun of just having an Evo and make it go fast. Now, this one is, that's all in one. Go fast, make it look good, and when it shows. I had to source the seats. These are very hard to find uh, seats, the car seats, from, uh, made by Tom Mackinnon. The, the steering wheel, I had to find this from in Australia. And I have carbon fiber accent in the car. Yeah. So I have the door canard being with carbon fiber. Some of the accents on the interior on the console. This is pretty unique here. It's, uh, yes, it is signed are. by the WRC champion. They are very rare, as like the seats. Um, and they're like more a collectible item right now. Okay. The whole shifter assembly is made by CAE from okay. Germany. And they have perfected the mechanism on precise uh, shifting and all that. So are you done with this car or do you still have more to do? Um, as far as major work, yes, I'm done, but there's always tuning to do, like always upgrading. Car I want carbon fiber drive shaft. I want uh, two more boost, maybe 50 pounds of boost, if, if I can make it. So obviously with all the tuning that you've done, and I heard you going down the street, the sound is just amazing and phenomenal. How would you describe it? It's the adrenaline. Yeah. Yes, yeah, adrenaline. Um, making that power and in a 2,800-pound car, uh, it's a trip. You know, it makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> so, Archie, if anyone wants to find out more about your car, how can they get in touch with you? Um, if they want to keep in touch with me, just uh, hit me up at Thor Lab. Cool. And if they want to find out about Team Hybrid, same thing, right? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. So please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you get notified when we upload new content. So thanks for watching and join us next time as Throttle's driving connections and fueling experiences.